Whenever you criticize the government, man, you're the worst, you're the worst thing in the world. They call you all kinds of names. They tell you you're silly. <laughs> I am here in the opposition and I will give constructive opposition. If we let us go to the Environmental Health Department. This government, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, and if they're tired of hearing me saying it, prepare for the fatigue. This government has the most consultants ever in the history of this country. and the fewest environmental health inspectors ever in the history of this country. They are refusing amidst these sweet baritones about mosquitoes and rats. Amidst these sweet baritones, they are refusing, this government is refusing to augment that health department with an adequate number of health inspectors. I want to accuse the government of having overemphasized private health care at the expense of public health care in this country. I therefore place the responsibility for the declining standards at, of the, at the QEH squarely within the hands of this government. <laughs> but what has happened, Your Honor, is that the government has lost its way in terms of health care and health care delivery and public health care delivery. The reality is that the majority of people in this country cannot afford expensive health care. They cannot. You don't need any PhD in anything to know that. And that is why the lines at the ANE are so long because they cannot afford to go to a private health care facility. And even the well to do sometimes have to go there because of the quality of care that is guaranteed in that facility. And this is not to make a political statement, but it is known that people die because the wait is too long. The nurses in this country, the treatment of the nurses in this country leaves much to be desired. That was just evidence of this government's neglect, not only of the unwell, but those whose jobs are to treat and to cure the unwell. Our people only have value to this government when they can jump up and do bad. <laughs> do Dixie. Hello. And so, ma'am, that is the voice of suffering which tells the truth. The voice of suffering telling truths to which this government remains deaf. Pay some attention to the public health department, pay some attention to the polyclinics, pay some attention to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, pay some attention to the a &E department, and take the advice of the second most powerful man in this government. I, I, I expect that the honorable member for St. Michael North, something to say I, I uh, unless I have missed the news I think he is still the junior minister of health uh, the last time I heard him here was uh, during the budget debate so I, I, I trust that they will allow him to unburden himself today and say something about health here in this country I've explained with, with some evidence the 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 maltreatment that is visited on workers in health care in this country and I would hope that the government finds it fit to respond to the please the plight of those who work in health care in this country I'm obliged to you ma'am